Hey, it's me, Carleen Anglay Cole, and this is day five, day five of my fast. Let me tell you, yesterday was a little tough. Um, I did have low energy in the morning. I didn't think I was going to make it to the day at one point, um, but I around 10 o'clock when I got my first energy pouch, my energy level really started picking back up. Plus, I went for my chiro, I'm not chiro, my acupuncture treatment with Dr. Chung um, around 9.30 uh, in the morning. And when I, when I had that treatment, I felt more energy starting to pick up on me. So like I said, around 9.45 to 10 o'clock was when I, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to make it through this day. So I definitely felt that the acupuncture treatment made a difference for me. And then of course, taking my energy pouch kept me going throughout the day. So besides that, once I got going, I was, it was a pretty good day. It was, you know, nothing else. I had a mild headache in the morning, but then it went away. Um, so now I'm like, okay, good. I went to bed last night about 1030, woke up with no problem. We got at 430, no problem as usual. So, okay. It's like, good. I got on the scale today. I've lost 6.4 pounds. Um, and this is starting day five right now. So not bad. Okay. So, um, that's it today. I mean, I, I woke up this morning, like I said, feeling a lot more energetic than I, I did yesterday. And so usually around day four, is when you get over that hump you know the first three days of a fast are the, are the hardest day four is when your body stops uh, producing the uh, digestive enzymes so the desire to eat to, um, you know to get the hunger desire kind of goes away but I will tell you this yesterday my daughter was making some rotisserie chicken in the air fryer and it smelled so good I and mean, the whole house smelled amazing I had to get out of there I had to go to Walmart and buy a plant because I'm like, oh, this smells so good. I mean, I don't, I didn't necessarily want to eat it. I just, the smell just got to me. So let's see if that sense of smell continues to be a, a, a challenge for me. But speaking of challenges, okay, I'm on day five of my, of my fast, but this is day five of your fast, uh, fast 10 challenge. And so for today, I want you to tell me what is your go-to phrase, your go-to word that gets you motivated, that gets you to say, come on, I can do this. Come on, let's get going. What is your go-to word um, or go-to phrase? Put it in the comment box. Let me know what encourages you and what motivates you because guess what? It might encourage and motivate someone else, right? Want to know mine? Huh? Do you? Okay, well, no, before, I used to have it where it was be afraid and do it anyway. That kind of was my mantra a lot of times because it seemed like everything I was doing at one point was so new. I didn't know what I was doing. I was always a new kid on the block. And it got to the point of just saying, you know what? If be afraid. It's okay. It's okay. It's part of the whole process. When I start to write copy, that anxiety kicks in to go, oh, is this going to work? Am I going to make it happen? You know, it's okay. Be afraid. Do it anyway. And so... I now shorten my be afraid and do it anyway to one word. And if, you, if you've been watching me on the Crazy Copy System Live Mentoring Show, you see that word every single day. If you, um, whatever, if you just see me on video most of the time, you'll see that word. In fact, the word is here right now. You see this word? Let me see, get my finger right. That word right there, right there. Fearless. Fearless, right? So that is the shortened version of my be afraid and do it anyway. I, I got that sign because a few years ago, I, I spoke at an AWAI seminar and I put myself on the spot where I literally announced the winner of a package of my promotion, thinking I was going to win, right? I built this all up that I tested this crazy idea and then now I'll have them have the client come on stage and actually announce, you know, if I beat, if I won or not. And it turned out I did not beat it and so I was like devastated but then afterwards Clayton Mayfees came on stage for his session and the first thing he said was that girl is fearless and I was like I just love him and so I got the sign fearless to remind me of that moment um that he, he said that for me and so I really appreciate that and it reminds me of him whenever I see the sign too so a oh, little it's a sentimentality there. Sorry. Um, okay, so got it. Day five challenge. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to see how it goes for me throughout the day. I'm going to go for a walk. Yesterday, I was only able to walk about uh, two miles very slowly. 
And today it seems about the same thing. I think I'm just going to do a slow walk. I'm not pushing myself. I'm just going to go through this, let my body go through the detox process. All right. All right, Coffee Star. Come on, comment. Let me know. Let me know what your go-to phrase is for this um, day five of your copywriting challenge. And if you haven't subscribed to my um, YouTube channel, please do so. Just click the button, hit the notification bell, so you'll get notices of when new videos are coming out, all right? But go ahead to subscribe now and be a member of my tribe. I really appreciate it. And I will update you on the Fast 10 Challenge uh, for copywriters and for me um, tomorrow, all right? Take it and have a great day.